Okay, that's how we're going to toggle between the uh, toggle uh, with the um, drop down. Okay, now we're just going to use this value wherever we were using it earlier, like this, and we've already done here. And we also need to pull the use context from React since we're using it here. So let's just pull it use context. Awesome. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and make some changes into our routes and make them look a little more simpler. So I'll come over here. So we have the home, we have the login. We don't need the username. Earlier we were using it to, to pull the username, but now we can get that from the store itself. Uh, so this is dashboard, this is dashboard create post, and then we can also have uh, uh, pages. So we don't have it for posts yet, right? Because we create, okay, so let's do that. So we have create posts. Let's have it for posts as well, where we are going to keep all of the um, posts. We're going to show all of the posts basically on the dashboard. Import React from React. If it doesn't make sense to you right now, don't worry about it. You'll get, get it along there. Okay, very soon. Cons just post and just return. Okay, we're gonna use dashboard layout. Remember, we are using the dashboard layout so that we get all of the content that we need. And posts. And just export default posts. Similarly, let's do that for pages as well because we'll need pages. So we're gonna say pages. And let's have a component for that as well. And let's name it as pages. Oops, it needs to go outside. Okay, so let's copy the post itself and just rename it to pages. Pages. Okay, that's fine. So we have these routes available now, and we just need to define them here. So we have dashboard, we should have posts. Path will be dashboard. There's also something called a ch uh, child routes, like nested routes, but we'll deal with them later because I don't want to confuse you too much. So dashboard, posts. So this is going to be route for our posts. And then similarly, we can have it for pages as well. So for pages, this is all routes for dashboard, okay? That's why you see a dashboard uh, prefix there. Dashboard, so you know that way this route goes. It's not for the front end, basically. Because the dashboard, and this can be like pages for now, okay? And uh, let's go back to our post menu. Let's close everything, so to make it cleaner. And go back to our menu which is sidebar yeah page menu so this should idly go to dashboard pages and this should go to okay right now let's not worry about this should actually go to create page we haven't created that yet but that route yet that's fine okay and um Let's take care of this as well. So I think I'm just gonna copy this from the post menu just to save time. So we have this section right here. Okay, and let's change to page menu active. Page menu active. Okay, and then just take this thing, change it. And of course, we have to pull all of this data. So again, just pull it. And we have to pull the use context from the store. Sorry, from the React. From React. Oops. Yep, I think we are good. 
we just need to change this as well. Awesome. Right. Awesome. Now all we have to do is just go back to our sidebar menu and like we have you know imported post menu we do the same for the page menu as well. Okay. Let's try our front end now. Okay. There you go. You see this? Okay, for all post, I think for all post. This should should also go to the same route, which is this. So I should use a nav link over here rather. Nav link. Oops. And this should go to the same route basically. Let's try that. Great. Let's log out first just to set things back. So let's start clean. Let's start fresh. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll just close everything for now. I'll close all of this and start with my context provider. I'm going to console as to what I get over here when we set it. So store, store. Okay. So we're going to check what we what we have in the store. So currently we don't have anything in the store. Sidebar active is true. Um, then when we log in, so I log in. So now once we log in, it's going to dashboard route. We're just going to change that route. Okay, so we'll go to login.js. And it's going to user. We don't want this to go to user. Just dashboard is fine. So let's go to dashboard. Oops. Got some errors. Props of undefined dashboard layout. Okay. Let's see what's going on there. Oh, so now because we have converted this into a functional based component, this will now be props. This will not be available because it's not a class based component and that should do for us. Okay, what else is there? Submenu active is not defined. Where is that? Let's fix all of these errors quickly. So post menu. Uh, sidebar menus post menu oops we need to change this as well okay let's see what else is there nav link is not defined so I need to import nav link where is it not defined uh, in post menu Nav link is not defined, but we did import nav link. We don't need the nav bar over here. Oh, okay. Spelling. So just to let you know that in real world situation, we do have problems like these. And we should just be able to solve them. We just need to make some changes in the style. So when the sidebar is active, then the margin left should be this. Otherwise, margin left should be zero. Let's change that. Okay, we got that here. What is missing? Okay, let me just fix that. Okay, this should be all posts actually. So nav link, we haven't put the name over here. Let's put the name. We missed that. All posts. Okay, let's see. Yep, there you go. Awesome. Great. So now if you see, we don't have that issue. Of course, it's, this shows this color. We'll fix that later. But if you realize, we don't have that issue. If we click on it, it's going over there. But it's, it's not really closing down. So I'm going to break this down for you to make you understand how this has worked. So starting from the top, I'll just log out from here. Okay, uh, go to login. If you come back, and I'm going to go to 
root root and you hit enter if you check currently we have sidebar active so when the sidebar is active you can see the class is active margin left is zero that's why it's visible so once you toggle then this will change but we're gonna do that later right now we're worrying about this one right now okay so when you click on this this should change of course right now it's not showing because we have not done a console so I'm going to go to the post menu and where we have store I'm just going to console store to show you what's happening here okay let's check this out so earlier the active menu has nothing inside of it so what happens is that when we click on it when we click on it so we have an on click event on this posts and it's going to fill in the store first with all of the items that are already there so we had all of these items that are already there is going to fill in that and then it's going to update the active menu so earlier the active menu was an empty object but when we clicked on it we are saying that whatever the value of the uh, store active menu post menu active is just make the reverse of that so if it was false with me which means if it wasn't there already make that as true so if you click on it can you see that now if you click you can see that we have now this new property called post menu active and it's set to true right now if you go ahead and click it again okay let me now if you check we have this as false because we're saying that whatever the original value was go ahead and set that to false right so that's why you have this as uh, you know collapsed so basically we're toggling the class over here on this and that's how we are changing the sub menus basically so if you observe over here what happens so you see it's over here area expanded true and then we have this unstyled sorry uh, you have this toggle between the show class which is basically going to go ahead and show that or hide it so now you can see it's display none if you click on it then display none goes off right so that's how we're toggling between it and if you close ideally what should happen is if you open another menu then the first one should get closed so that's why we didn't spread the value of the post menu which means the active menu inside of this because we don't want to retain the state of any other thing we just want to set the active menu to the new currently uh, current current uh, uh, active menu okay uh, so that's why if you now check we no longer have the post menu uh, active inside of it because now we clicked on the pages so when you click on the pages which it goes to page menu and here we are saying that go and grab the active menu which is this and set this property uh, to page menu active to whatever it was the reverse of whatever it was there so initially it would not found page menu active so it's just going to uh, you know consider that consider that as false this value will return false and it's going to set that to true okay and because we are not using a spread operator here so initially we had set the uh, post menu active so that's why it's going ahead and you know wiping off whatever was there inside of the active menu and changing it to the new property and value right uh, if we wanted to retain the state of the previous menus then we would do like a spread operator like this over here we'll say active menu and then comma and then we will update it but we don't want that if you if you must have seen in wordpress if you go to localhost you'll observe that when you click on one of the menus this opens up but the moment you click on other the first one closes down and that should actually be the the case because the one in focus should be open and not all of them right so that's why we did this okay so now you check it's working great all pages is working post click on new it doesn't get closed but the pages got closed now this is showing as uh, active it shouldn't be like that it, the reason for this is because we haven't really uh, set this value in the page menu you can see it's just showing as active so we just need to change that and this should actually be pages and now if we check 
nothing is in active state uh, click on post it's active pages now it's this is pages is active click on post 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 is active click on page page is active awesome that works great the last thing we need to do is just take care of the uh, toggle uh, toggle button currently it's not showing because we have to do some changes but uh, in the next video we're going to do that so i hope you did like the video guys if you did please give a thumbs up um, and do give a star to my repository uh, this will help me uh, you know get motivated do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also follow me on twitter my twitter handle is imran h sayed because whenever i do any uh, updates i do post them on twitter as well okay so currently i don't have internet so i think it's not showing but that's my twitter handle basically okay all right guys see you in the next video take care bye bye